So here's a potentially controversial topic. Is your realtor any good? You know what? I, I don't blame the consumer, but more our industry. But I would suggest that you as a consumer don't really have the tools readily at your disposal to know whether your agent is any good. Um, I know I'm being controversial, but hear me out. Um, how do you go about determining who's best qualified to sell your most valuable asset? You know, are all realtors really created equal? I can tell you that we live in a world that is such an attention seeking monster that we're all, you know, our eyes are on Instagram and Facebook and the back page of in, in Ottawa, the Ottawa citizen or in your neighborhood, something else, you know, magazines, et cetera, et cetera, or perhaps even signs in lawns, you know, for sale signs in your neighborhood. And really think about it for a second. Does any of that determine whether an agent is any good? I mean, it's attention grabbing, but do you really know what the outcome of their efforts are? I would suggest to you that there are four key performance indicators that you should be interviewing agents on the basis of, and I'm going to share them with you today. Um, so number one, number of units sold annually. So how much practice is this agent getting? Now you might not need the biggest mega team in the city. You might not like the level of service you get from one of those mega teams um, or the personal touch. I don't know, but I can tell you, you know, the average agent in Ottawa sells about five and a half houses annually. So they, they basically transact once every two months. And I would suggest that if I was having open heart surgery, I rather have a surgeon that practices open heart surgery on the daily. Um, not every other month. So something to check in on. That's number one. Number two, what percentage of the listings that this agent that you're interviewing take actually translate into a final sale? So that's a shocking statistic for people, but Ottawa runs about 65 to 70% of listings taken actually sell. Now, sure, we've just been through a crazy market, a higher percentage sold, but not 100%, not even close to it, and people are quite surprised. So, you know, this is a function of pricing wrong, or, you know, not presenting the property, or missing who the real audience is, and communicating to the wrong, uh, you know, your marketing efforts are wrong, you're communicating to the wrong population. But 65 to 70% of listings taken in Ottawa sell, generally. Most of us can't afford to be one of those statistics. So you really have to know how your agent is doing. How often are they hitting the mark? Number three, of the listings sold, what is the average days on market? Ottawa av has averaged something in the neighborhood of 45 to 55 days in my 20 years in the business. Sure, things get very skewed in a hot market like we're in or in a really you know, buyer oriented market, but that's the average and it's been a 20 year average. So there's some validity to it. But how is your agent doing relative to that? You have somewhere to be. And the question is, is this your agent going to get you there? So you really need to know how they're doing on days on market. And then the final, and I would call it the Holy grail is the list to sell price ratio that your agent is generating. So there's, you know, it's, it's, obviously very compelling to talk about fees for service and all that kind of stuff and to try and drive an agent's fees down and all that kind of thing. That that's normal. We all want a great deal. Um, and you should get a great deal, but I can tell you we're too focused often on fees or commissions and not focused enough on what is the net sale proceeds that my agent generates. So I can tell you this, there's huge variability in the, list price to sell price that agents are generating. In other words, huge variability in agents ability to negotiate on your behalf. And that can dramatically impact what's put in your pocket. And someone who's offering a little discount on fees, but who can't negotiate on your part will leave you with a lot less money. So you really have to understand list to sell price ratio for a given agent. So there it is folks. Those are your four tools. Let's put aside, you know, fancy Instagram pages and great marketing efforts and dig deeper and really determine who's best qualified by looking at the numbers. 
Now, if you're curious about my stats, I would be thrilled to share them with you. So there's a link on this video, just reach out to us. We'll have a, we'll, we'll meet up and uh, we can dig deeper into this topic and really figure out who's best qualified and who you should be considering. You know, this is a massive, massive investment, um, you know, moving one of your most valuable assets and you need to get it right. Take good care and happy searching for a superstar agent.